Reading quotes and life lessons is like tapping into the wisdom of the ages. Unlock the secrets of life through these profound teachings. And who better to guide us than the influential and revered philosopher, Jesus. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. This quote highlights the challenges and obstacles faced by individuals who possess wealth and material possessions when trying to attain spiritual enlightenment or salvation. With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. This sentence conveys a sense of hope and encouragement, reminding us that even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges, there is always a possibility for success in overcoming obstacles. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. This quote suggests that things do not always turn out as expected, and that those who are currently in a position of power or advantage may eventually find themselves at the bottom, while those who are currently at the bottom may rise to the top. It serves as a reminder to not be complacent or judgmental, as circumstances can change unpredictably. So the last shall be first, and the first last, for many be called, but few chosen. This quote speaks to the idea that success and recognition are not always guaranteed to those who have been at the forefront. It suggests that sometimes, those who have been overlooked or underestimated may ultimately rise to the top. It serves as a reminder to not judge or dismiss others based solely on their initial position or status. Whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. And whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant, even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. This quote emphasizes the importance of humility and selflessness in leadership. It suggests that true greatness lies in serving others and putting their needs before our own. It reminds us of the example set by the Son of Man, who sacrificed himself for the benefit of many. It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. This quote highlights the corruption and misuse of a sacred place, emphasizing the importance of maintaining the sanctity and purpose of religious institutions. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast perfected praise. This quote suggests that wisdom can come from unexpected sources, even from the youngest and most inexperienced among us. It reminds us to be open-minded and to value the perspectives of others, regardless of their age or status. The stone which the builders rejected, the same is become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. This quote emphasizes the unexpected and remarkable nature of the Lord's work, highlighting the transformative power of divine intervention. Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God's. This quote suggests the importance of distinguishing between worldly matters and spiritual matters, and reminds us to give each their due respect and attention. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. 
and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. This quote speaks to the importance of humility and serving others. It reminds us that true greatness is not achieved through self-promotion, but through acts of humility and service to others. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. This quote implies a sense of urgency and vigilance, reminding us to be prepared and alert at all times, as we never know when significant events or opportunities might occur. Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. This quote emphasizes the importance of treating others with kindness and compassion, reminding us that our actions towards others reflect how we treat ourselves and the higher power that connects us all. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. This sentence carries a reminder or warning, reminding us that the presence of poverty is a constant in our world, but the presence of someone important or special may not always be guaranteed. Watch and pray, that ye enter not into temptation, the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. This statement reminds us of the constant struggle between our desires and our willpower. It suggests that we should be vigilant and mindful of our actions, as our physical desires can often overpower our good intentions. For all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. This quote serves as a warning against violence and the repercussions that come with it. It emphasizes the cycle of violence and the consequences that await those who choose to engage in it.